Hello, and welcome to Guitars for Bars. It's cool shirt day again on Guitars for Bars. Today, we're going to take a look at my Jackson Warrior. I painted this. This is not a Jackson paint job. This is one of my early Guitars for Bars. Uh, let me get my notes out. Okay, this is a pre-Fender Warrior. I got this about 20 years ago before Fender bought Jackson and took over. Uh, it came with a case, or I bought a case, I'm not sure, but I got a case for it. I think, and I'm not 100% sure, I think this was an early JS-20. It is a bolt-on. If it's not JS-20, it's what they made right before they started the JS-20 line. Uh, the strap button was either here or back here, and it was neck heavy. So I moved it around until I finally figured out that the best place for it was right there. Uh, the heel is sculpted, but it wasn't when I got it. It had the straight piece of wood there. I sculpted that off to make playing more comfortable. And as a result, the pick, uh, the neck plate is a little bent right there, so that's why I didn't use the Jackson one. I just put on a, an aftermarket, you know, from uh, Stu Mac or somebody. It's got the licensed Floyd Rose on it. It says Jackson. I have the Duncan Distortion Bridge pickup in the neck and I've got the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker in the bridge position uh, and then the paint I want to talk about the paint and then we'll talk about the neck I don't know if you can tell but it's not sanded perfectly flat there's a little bit of a ridge where the where some of the paint is I just didn't take the time to sand it and clear it and sand it and clear it until I had it perfectly smooth because this is a guitar for playing in the bars. It's going to get beat up. It was a scratch and dent model. It was black and it had you know, either a chip down here or a chip up here, something like that. And so I got it a little bit cheaper and bought it specifically to repaint because I wanted to do a camouflage job. There's the back goes all around all the way around the edges okay and then the other thing <clears throat> this neck I've mentioned this guitar in uh, a couple of the previous videos having a thinner neck than my other ones I don't know if you can see but I'm pretty sure it, it's a little bit thinner down here so I guess they call that compound radius uh, It's got really low action. It's one of my lowest action guitars uh, It's a satin. It's kind of a satin finish. It's not high gloss and it's not uh, An oil finish. I don't I'm not a fan of that oil finish. This is this is what I like the best But I'm okay with the gloss. I like the gloss too. So there it is All right, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like Not gonna put a strap on it. And you'll notice the last video I did, the H3 1000, it was not neck heavy. I didn't mention that in the video, but uh, if you watch, you'll see that there's a, most of the time I don't when I'm not holding on to the guitar, it's not the neck's not diving down. And this one is pretty balanced. Just a little bit, a little bit. But it's not like I got to hold the thing up while I'm playing it. I haven't tuned this thing since I painted it, like, I don't know, 16, 18 years ago. Yeah, that's pretty good. In fact, I've never used this thing 
at practice or at gigs yet. It still hasn't had the chance to get out and be used. So, you know, it's been in the case for so long, I don't even know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. It's a little out of tune. Uh, I'm gonna take a second to tune that up. Okay, so the B string was out of whack a little bit. Duncan distortion. There's the dime bag. Pretty balanced. Okay, that is the dime bucker. And that is the Seymour Duncan distortion. Back on the dime bucker. sounds in the neck.
Ah, lost in a spray. Ah. <laughs> I guess that happens sometimes with 20 year old strings. Well, that concludes a review of this guitar. You heard it, you seen it, hopefully you like it. Uh, once I get some good strings on it and practice a little bit, I'll break it out and play it again. Same way with the A3-1000. I'm going to play a little bit of my original stuff for you. So real quick, i still got the picks. I'm working on them. I've got 91 cut now. When I get to 100, I'm going to start filing and sanding them and get my uh, infomercial made and get them posted on Etsy. So it won't be too long. I should get them finished up the rest of this week as far as getting them cut tonight, tomorrow night. If not, then Saturday or Sunday. And then, like I said, I'm going to start filing them. I'll have a handful of these triangle ones. I was going to use it today and show you, but I already broke one string. So, But uh, I'll show you next time once I get, uh, well, when I get them done, I'll do the infomercial. And so I'll have the, tri the triangle ones and the regular ones. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. I'm going to be starting on, I'm going to go back and start working on the uh, Tiger Shark guitar that I did almost all the way through. I just got to finish sanding it and buff it and put it together. So that's coming up next, that and the infomercial. Thank you very much.